Hello everyone, so we are going to start our the practical part for the PySpark and in this particular video we are going to see like how actually we can create a data frame how actually we can create a data frame using a CSV file how actually we can read a data frame and how actually we can see a schema of a particular data frame so that actually we are going to see in this particular video so first let us understand what is a data frame data frame is a two dimensional object data might be available in the form of the rows and the column so it is similar to the excel so in excel also the data is available in a rows and column right similarly when you will create a data frame the data will be available in the form of the rows and the column and with that data actually you can clean that and you can create another data frame so like that actually we do so generally what happens data generally available in a different location data might be available in a HDFS location data might be available in any of the cloud storage if they are using Azure then the Azure storage if they are using a, a cloud AWS then it will be available in a AWS S3 location now what will be your requirement to requ your requirement will be to read that data how actually we can read that data because uh, that data also might be available in the JSON format it might be available in a CSV format it might be available in a excel it might be available in a Avro format so like different file format data might be available now what will be your requirement is like your requirement is like to read that data obviously we can read the data for to read the data we create a data frame so that the data will be available in the form of the rows and column and after that we can perform a cleaning on that so let us see how actually we can create a data frame so what I will open I will open my Databricks uh, community edition i hope you have already created a community.cloud.databricks.com once you will log in you will see this particular screen in the left side what will be our first step first step to create a compute in this compute click on the compute first we will create a cluster so click on the create compute we will give, give any of the cluster name so i will give cluster name as a PySpark lab one or you can give any name PySpark Lab 1 this I am giving and I'll just click on the create compute the 15 GB memory we will get to practice and you can see it is started so till then what we will do we will go to the our workspace in this workspace what we will do we will create one folder uh, we will create folder like the PySpark practical in this PySpark practical we will create a click on the create click on the notebook we are going to do our first practical so I will just give the name as a lab one now we are going to learn the PySpark so the language we will select as a Python and uh, this connect option right here you can see PySpark lab one this will be started soon so that actually we will select now what where your file is available to upload any file what actually we have to do go to the catalog option click on the create table let me your your data might be available in S3 so for that you have to do a mounting that part we will come later but as of now we are going to upload a file from our uh, local file to the HDFS location so this is the DBFS directory there actually our file will be uploaded so what I will do I will try to upload any of the file let me upload this employee1.csv file once you will upload you can see this is the particular location where my file is uploaded so I will just save this particular location so that I can read that now I will go to the my notebook now let's see how actually we can read that particular location and we can create a data frame so first thing we are going to see create data frame so that actually we are going to see to create a data frame what we have to write first you have to write df or you can give any name df1 df2 to understand the data frame variable we are creating after that you have to write spark dot read dot csv if it is a csv so directly you can write df equal to spark dot read dot csv and that particular location whatever the location the file is available that actually you have to pass that now once you will execute this you have to click on the shift and enter once you will click on the shift and enter it will start executing so as, as of now it is started so let's wait it to be completed now you can see my cluster is ready and also this particular data frame got executed you can see data frame is created I am not getting any error now how actually this data frame got created is how actually we can read that so let's see how actually we can read data frame to read the data frame what we have to write df whatever the data frame you have created dot so if you write df.so you will be able to read your data frame 
now let me execute this shift and enter once i will do i will be able to read so you can see i am able to read uh, data frame the second way is like display df also you can do so what you have to write display display df once you write display df then also you will be able to read your data in a tabular format now when i am reading my data frame you can see the first row which is an employee id name salary this should be a header this should be a my column name but it is coming like my column name is c0 c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 so how actually i can mention in a data frame itself like the first row it will automatically take as a column so how actually we can do that so let's see data frame with header so we are going to see how actually we can do data frame with header so let me create another data frame df1 spark dot read dot csv after that the location you have to pass and here you can mention comma header equal to true now let me execute you can see it is executing df1 now if you want to read that so what you have to write display df1 when i will do display df1 you can see now it is coming properly my first column first row it actually contained the column so it properly taken the column name whatever the first row was available it has taken the column name now employee id name salary address location in email now let's see how actually you can see the schema schema means uh, what is the employee id whether it is a integer or a string so read schema how actually we can read the schema so for that we have to write df1 dot print schema df1 dot print schema df1 dot print schema if you write you will be able to see the schema you can see employee id is string name is string salary is string address is string location is string email is string but my data frame this employee id should be in integer format and salary should be in a integer format but it is treat, treating all by default as a string format so how actually we can handle that so let's see data frame with header data frame with header and proper schema how actually we can create that so let me create another data frame df2 i will write spark dot read dot csv i'll pass the location similarly part dot read dot csv and the location i will pass header i will make true so that the first row it will contain as a header header equal to true and for the proper schema we have to write infer schema infer schema you have to write and you have to make true now let me execute df2 got created if i will do display df2 should be a display you can see i am able to read that now let's see what is the schema so i will write df2 dot print schema you write df2 dot print schema i should be able to view that you can see now it is considering employee id is integer salary is integer and others are string so automatically it took the employee id as integer and salary as integer and others would be in a string format so that is the flexibility and that is the advantage we get with the help of the infer schema so how actually we can create a data frame to create a proper data frame what you have to write you have to write is part dot if you are reading a csv file you have to write is part dot read dot csv and the location name you have to pass after that you have to make header equal to the true and infer schema equal to the true how actually you can uh, read that you, for that you have option df2 dot so or you can write display df also with that you will be able to read that how actually you can see the schema to see a schema you can write a df2 dot print schema so this is for the to read the csv file now suppose you have any other file format so for that how actually we can create a data frame so for that also we have another option so suppose i am creating another data frame df3 the another way to create a data frame is like we have to write is part dot read dot format in this format we have to pass the csv 
if it is a CSV file, so you can pass the CSV if it is a JSON, then you can pass a JSON. So what I am writing is part the read dot format CSV, and after that we have to pass option. In this option, you can pass header equal to true and infer schema. Infer schema true, and after that dot load. And the particular location you have to pass. If I'll execute this, it should be options. It should be option. Is part dot read dot format. What is the file format you have to pass? Dot options. In the option we are mentioning header is true, infer schema is true, and particular location you have to pass. Now, if I will show you how actually we can read that, so I will write display df3. If I write display df3, I should be able to read that. And if I want to see the schema, I will write df3 dot print schema. You can see employee ID is integer, salary is integer, others are string. So there are two ways to read that. If it is a CSV, then directly you can write is part dot read dot CSV particular location you can pass and header true and infer schema true. If it is a another file format, uh, the another way of creating is like you can use this syntax also is part dot read dot format and then particular file format you have to pass and in options you can mention the header true infer schema true and all. So I hope you got the idea like how actually we can we can create a data frame how actually we can read the schema and how actually we can read the data frame also.